What is going on guys today? I'm gonna to count down the absolute best accessories and gadgets for your car on Amazon. Now this is not just a countdown list. Every single one of these products I currently own and have used extensively. Now jumping right into it, I have a 2002 Toyota Camry, so it's a fairly older vehicle. However, all these products except for one could be used in any modern day vehicle or a used car, it doesn't matter how old, and it can really change your driving experience. Okay, so the number one thing that can change a car's experience completely, and you don't really notice it until you try this out is car scents. There's a lot of people having these really boring, bad car scents that just don't smell nice. Make your car smell very different. Absolute best one to do that. Use Bath and Body Works air fresheners. They have hundreds of different scents that smell absolutely incredible. If you guys have ever had their candles, they have hundreds of different scents, everything from pumpkin to peppermint, to rose, it doesn't matter, they have it all. So basically what this is, is a little container that you stick onto your climate vent. Then what you're gonna do is take one of their little pods with the actual scent in it and place it inside of that and voila, you have your scents in your car and this stays for a very, very long time. You do not need to change it very much. And a lot of these other car scents you need to change a lot and they really don't smell good. And I have put links to every single product that I'm gonna name in the link description below to Amazon. If at any point in the video you guys wanna go down there and click on it and check the products out. But moving on to the next one. This is a dash camera slash backup camera. Now you might say, why do I need a dash camera? You know, I'm not really worried about crashing. I'm a safe driver. Well, I'm gonna tell you one thing first, it improves safety while driving. So this isn't just like any normal dash cam. It actually has a screen that looks exactly like your rear view mirror that you put over it. Now it's a really good screen. It's just like your phone screen would be. And then there's two cameras that you hook up. Now there's no like wiring and needing to plug into certain things. It just plugs into your cigarette lighter and that's how it's powered. It'll come on when you turn the car on and it has a backup camera in it. And if your car's older, it just looks amazing. And that's one of the biggest pros. It really spices up a car, whether it's a new one with a lot of technology in it, or if it's an old one that doesn't have as much technology in it. If your car doesn't have a backup camera, this will give you a very high res backup camera. As well as that, it has a lithium ion battery inside. So even when your car's off and somebody hits it, it has a motion detector so it can pick up that data. And as well, obviously it will come on if a crash occurs. So if you ever get in a crash and you need to prove that it was their fault, you have the video to prove it. Okay, now this next one is probably one of my personal favorites. It's not super expensive. And I can't tell you an exact price on this one because it is fluctuating, but it is the FH Group seat cover covers slash cushions. And let me be clear, if you have experience with seat cushions or seat covers before, these are nothing like that. These are very premium. And I did extensive research into these and these are absolutely the best. I installed these on my car just expecting to make the interior look better, but they actually add a huge level of comfort. They're very thickly padded and very premiumly made. All the stitching is incredibly well done. I thought there was just gonna be some cheap China stuff, but it wasn't. It was incredibly well made and it absolutely blew my mind away. Now, when I bought these, they were about $130 for the front seats. However, now the price is like 85 and up from that, I don't really know what's going on. I think there could be some effects from coronavirus, but they have fluctuated a lot even before this. So definitely go check the link below and see how much they are because they are absolutely the best seat cushion slash covers out there, hands down, period. I'll also insert a card at one of these corners that has my full review on the seat covers. And the next one is LED under seat lighting. Now you guys have probably seen these on Amazon before. Maybe you're not willing to take the plunge yet and try it out. Well, I have to say you definitely should. When I bought them, they were about $20. I'll also have a link to the exact ones that I got below. And they're really, really easy to set up. All you do is plug it into a cigarette lighter. There's then a little remote with an adhesive backing. You stick it wherever you want to. And then all of the different LED strips, there's four of them, get stuck under the seat and there's one cable. And you string it basically to the front of the car. So the driver's seat, then you go back to the back passenger seat and the other back passenger seat and then up to the shotgun seat. Now what's really cool about this is you can do any color you want. They have an app, you can adjust brightness. You can even play it to music, but I really don't recommend that because it, it just looks weird. But these things are really, really cool at night and even in the day in darker, more shaded areas, you can really see it. And in normal day, it's just a faint glow, but even then it's very cool. You can set it to any color that's basically in existence if you just want it white. This is one of those upgrades that's incredibly easy to do just like all of the rest of these and really change the experience of your car. And for 20 bucks, it's a really cool upgrade. Now the next one, something that I definitely cannot live without, and this is the first car accessory that I personally bought, and it's absolutely the most integral in my life while I'm driving. That is a phone holder, and the good part about these is they're not expensive. In fact, the phone holder might actually be the cheapest on the list. Now, I personally use a CD tray phone holder. I never use CDs, so it didn't really matter to me, but basically how it's used is you put the back of the phone holder into the CD tray, and then you screw it in, and it basically pushes against the top and the bottom of it, and it holds it in really, really tightly. That was another reason that I wanted to get it, 
it is because a lot of other phone holders, they don't stay as well as this one and don't require a lot of tightening like some other ones that go on your windshield. It's also in the center of the dashboard, which is what I really like. It's really easy to open and close it. All you do is stick your phone in it, pull the sides together and they click and they click into place. And then when you want to move it, you click a button and they pull apart and it's really quick and easy to do. And it, and it holds your phone really nicely. And at least in my car, it puts it at a perfect driving position for me because you can rotate it and turn it as much as you want to. Now the next and the last one, this is only going to be basically for some older cars. Now, personally in my car, my car doesn't have Bluetooth. It's obviously a 2002, so it's not going to have Bluetooth and doesn't even have an auxiliary. So this is another thing that really changed the experience of my car. This is an FM Bluetooth transmitter. This Basically how it works is you stick it into a cigarette lighter and it creates a Bluetooth connection to your phone that then sends a signal into the radio of your car playing any music that you want. I thought it wasn't going to be very clear at first because it's going through a radio signal, but since your phone's right next to you and that's where it's broadcasting from, it's no different than just having it plug into an auxiliary cord. But if you guys are curious, if does this work the same as your Bluetooth? Well, my parents have a Subaru and their Bluetooth takes longer to connect than this one does in my car almost as soon as I turn the car on, my phone connects probably in about two seconds before I can even open my phone up and it's ready to go. So as soon as my car's on, my LED lights come on and it's connected to Bluetooth. Now as well, it also has a USB on the side of it. So you can also plug your phone in as well to charge while you're driving. But guys, that is my list for the best car accessories for your car, whether old or new. And remember, I have all the links below for US, Canada, and UK. So if you guys wanna check out any of those products, just go to the link description. But if I helped you guys out, help me out and throw a like on this video but I'll see you guys next time. Boss out.